I, there, we heard something in the car next to us. This guy leans out of his window. He says, hey, dude, that guy's totally okay. And he, he, it's totally legal to do that. Without questioning it for one second, this guy turned back to me and said, my bad, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Now, why is it that me telling him didn't affect that person? It's because you have now have an ally. And I want car drivers to think about this. When you see a bicycle by themselves, your psychology will make you think this person is an outlier and they're probably doing something wrong. When in fact, they actually are not most of the time. And actually, there are a lot of bicycles that break the law, but what I tell people is it's a human issue. It's not a mode issue. People in cars break laws. Trust me, when you ride a bicycle, you see all the laws that they break. So it goes both ways, and I don't want to exonerate bicyclists by any means, but I want you to realize that, that there's a lot of frustration and psychological things that are happening when you're in a vehicle and you're stuck in traffic. So that's number one. Number two is the question you asked me about um, this, this uh, LA Commission meeting that I went to. So for, for about two and a half, three years, uh, the city has been planning this mobility plan, the 2035 mobility plan, which increases the bus lanes, the bike lanes, um, they say the low-stress bicycle network, which, I, of course, I'm very excited about. And one of two points of contention, actually one in Chinatown, the, the district uh, council, the council member in Chinatown, um, I think his name is Cedillo, um, and then also the, the guy, Paul Koretz, in Westwood, which is District 5. They're, they're, those are the only two problematic districts because um, they claim that, that people don't want bike lanes. And uh, now, District 5, what they've done is they've said, we don't want one on Westwood, and this is why, this, this. And uh, they, so they want to put it on a little side street that's six or seven blocks out of the way that no one's going to even see or know about, um, that no one's going to use. And uh, although I'm grateful for them doing that, and I hope they do it, because at least it will be something for us to use, um, my feeling is they should put a bicycle 405 right along the freeway. There's plenty of room all the way up the pass. If you ever drive along for, uh, Sepulveda, you look at all that real estate that's just weeds and dirt. There's plenty of room for a bicycle 405 that would be very low cost. And then just cut through the city. Just make one road. That's all we want. There's zero north-south bike roads in between the city of Santa Monica and downtown Los Angeles. Zero north-south bike roads. 